Welcome back to Tech and Tactical. Uh, today we are here looking at Ken's, which, what is this, your military rucksack? This is a, this is a, um, a duffel bag, military duffel bag, well, army issue. Let's see, let's take a look at what's inside. I haven't been in this thing in so long, I don't even know. Sorry for the background, but we just, um, I know it's like Ken's basement, but. These are, these are uh, camo. These are basic training army issue boots. What, what year, hold on, what, can you, sh I got, I got uh, my uh, jungle boots in here too. What, what year, roughly what year here? Hold that still so I can get a close up. Like what, roughly what year do you think you were? This is 1985. 85. So those are 85 military issue. Yep. See all the ports so you can, they, they can breathe. It's got a steel shank. One more. Another jungle boot. Another regular marching boot. <laughs> We used to call these. I won't. I won't say what we used to call them. But why it's in it? It's not appropriate for the video. It's a C cap. C cap. C is in a woman's body part. Oh right. Yeah. Thank you for not. Because if you look at it, it's kind of like that. More. More camo. I wonder what that is. I have no idea. I mean, how old is it? I don't know. I think there's. Is it rice? Maybe mice damage. No. I mean, it actually looks like rice. I mean, like is that? I have no idea why there's. Thirty-year-old rice. Here's, I have two two sets of boots. Oh, these, look at this. These are, uh, these are, uh, quarter, quarter lows or whatever we used to call them, but these used to be shined to, like, this you wear with your dress greens. Yeah, you gotta really shine those puppies yeah. up. Another one of those. I've got more. More. These ones, these were the ones that I used to polish up. These ones used to be really in great shape. I put a lot of kiwi on these things, mm -hmm. a lot of kiwi. Nice. Old patch. I bet that patch is worth something. Like the boots are probably worth something. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Gosh, this is crazy. This is from Korea. <laughs> when I was stationed in Korea, this is a Heineken label. Yep. This is the uh, the heavy metal the heavy metal club in Itaewon, Seoul, Korea. This is where you went to party when you went nice. to Seoul, where 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 everything's nice. Mm -hmm. What else you got in there? Pipe. Got a an old corn cob pipe. What was that for? Did you actually smoke tobacco or did you smoke tobacco. pot? You didn't no, no pot, no tobacco. Here's some of my. Some of my nice, dude. You should sew those on some of your newer a, clothing. When I was a private, mm -hmm. he was a private. Yep. Um, gosh, I haven't been in here so long. And then, really, when you do, when you're really doing touch-ups on your uh, boots. Yep. You, when you get in, this is this is what you use. This is what you use right here on this on the rubber. Mm-hmm. You get the, you just really work that in there and make sure there's no dust or anything. So mm -hmm. when, when it's time for inspection, um, you pass. Okay. That thing's sweet. This is when I came back to the U.S. This is when I came back to the States. So this was the, like a clean one. the patch at, at Fort Belvoir. The patch that I had in Korea was just so much better. It's Indian. Some more pants. Nice little haul. How long has it been since you opened this bag, you said? Uh, 25 years. Maybe That's longer. crazy. little snapshot in history right here. Totally. Completely. These were new. These were new. Uniforms that I never even wore. That's awesome that you have them. These are new uniforms, never worn. I bought them, but I never put patches on them. I never put my my name and my in the U.S. Army on there. That's great that you have them. Here's another one again with the 
with the, the patch that I wore at Fort Belvoir. Mm -hmm. 437. <clears throat> 437th MP Company. You gotta get a close up of that patch real quick. I'll show you. If I have a good patch in here, then we'll see what the real patch was that I wore. Okay, here's another one again. Same thing. And this one, um, in the, I like uh, that the short sleeve. The spring, no, it's not. It's not short sleeve. It's, oh, it's, it's rolled. It's a, yeah, but it's the special way you have to do it in the military. You can't just roll it. Right. It's rolled and folded and rolled and folded. Nice. Rolled and rolled and rolled. Do you remember that technique? Yeah. Just trying to see if I have anything with the old patch on it. I don't. Darn. It. And then here's some dress greens. I have I have dress greens with my medals on it upstairs. Still, these are these are the shirts. These are short sleeve and long sleeve. And is everything from eighty yeah. five? Roughly. Eighty. Yeah. And these are dress green pants. But I have I, I, I have a whole uniform that these things needed to be ironed. That's you know. A I wonder what size they are. Yeah, they're 28 waist. <laughs> you know, I was going to say I really and like those, is, but there's no way I'm going to fit into those puppies. This is a headband that the helmet. Yeah. Like, when you wore a helmet, it went over. Yeah. Um, I can show you the rest of my uniform if you want to pause. Yeah, man. That's fucking. This is um definitely a great find. Okay. Basically, what we have here is. Uh, when I was stationed at Camp Pelham, Korea, the 2nd Infantry Division, this was our division patch. Let's call it the Indian head. That's the one you were talking about downstairs. 2nd Infantry Division, one of the most, trying to stay out one of the most famous divisions in the U.S. Army. It fought in World War II, World War One, Korean conflict, and uh, we were stationed in Korea. And there, you, there you are. There I am right there on duty one night. And these guys, these guys, this guy right here, Sergeant Kim, he was a he was a Katusa, which means Korean augmentation to the U.S. Army. So he basically helped us with the language barrier when we went out there. This is my one of my best friends, uh, Sean Roycroft. He became a K-9 police officer in, in Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. He still is a cop. Uh, this right here was one of the things that we Hana means number one in Korea in Korean. So uh, basically uh, at at 2nd Infantry Division Headquarters, where, where I was not stationed, I was stationed north, right near the DMZ. Nice little trucker with his hat name on the yep. back. That was, uh, that was our little MP thing that we had. We had our own little club. I had this, this helmet. This is basically what's called the helmet liner. Okay, so this is Army issue with a band. But I took it out into the, into the village. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, I had some Koreans basically paint this up for me. So it has my it has my second infantry division patch on one side. Mm -hmm. I was stationed in it was third platoon. The two is for second second MP company. Mm -hmm. On the front at the time, if you look above where it says MP, that's a private first class. Mm -hmm. When I left, I was a, I was a E4, which was a, a specialist four. And right down below is the most important thing. That's cross pistols. That means military case. Mm -hmm. And on the back, they put my name, and then as it would be pronounced in Korean. Oh, wow. So, this was my uniform when I came back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. I was stationed at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. So right here, um, this is the, uh, this is basically when you, when you're in the military and you get through basic in the IT, when you become, when you get your MOS, you get this patch. Hold on, I'll this, zoom in here. This right here is my uh, Korean service medal. Mm -hmm. On this right here, if you can see, this is an Army uh, Army Achievement Medal, and there's three oak leaf clusters, which means I received three of them. I received two of them when I was in Korea. I received one of them when I came back to the U.S. and, and uh, was sent to Grenada mm -hmm. for two months. Um, so I got that. Um, this is the Specialist Four insignia. This is basically it's it's a big departure from your from the PFC. And again, the most important thing on the uniform is that cross pistol. Cross pistol, yeah. I've polished that with multiple cans of brass cell over the years, mm -hmm. literally, and then the U.S. So uh, this was the patch at 437th MP Company when I was here in the U.S. Again, this, this same uniform used to be adorned with this patch. 